Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Progress Report this week. Ultra Hat Dimension, yay! So, um, Ultra Hat Dimension was a lot of dare game that we did. Me? Actually, let's run the credits. Art by Woof. Music by Yuzuki. Levels writing and sound effects by Lena. Lena Ray. I always say Lena, but it's Lena. I, I'm a terrible friend. Um, and I did the code and the engine. And then there's some special thanks that are not that relevant right now. So this is going to be the post Ludum Dare edition, which has a significant number of, of improvements, also with additional art by me. Although the art that you're currently seeing is with. Um, so first off, this is new, we didn't have this before. This is a level select screen where you select levels. It's, I, I know, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, you can, you get a little preview of the level as well. Um, and these levels are not unlocked yet. So every time you beat a level, you unlock the next level and that's saved. So none of these are unlocked, but these are unlocked. So you can, um, do that and then there's like floor two which has the same thing although there's less levels we haven't done all the levels yet so that we're still um working on that part then floor three is uh locked also a, a real options menu this time so we already had the music and sound effects volume um this is interesting in-game scaling so that shows you the, the scrolling tile background, so you can have an idea of what it would look like. So this is freaking tiny, and this is okay, and then this is freaking huge, and then it just gets worse from there. Honestly, I don't think you usually need this. I usually would just leave this on auto, but you can set the resolution down to something very low, on a big monitor when you're playing in the window and still want to have a certain in-game scaling that's different from the one that it would select. Like if you pick a very low resolution, it's gonna pick scale one. So yeah, that'll, that'll do. So uh, resolution options, bunch of those. Uh, full screen windowed, full screen windowed or full screen. Now the interesting part here is that because of my framework, um, Blah. What you can do is you can full screen or full screen window this on a different monitor. You just drag the window on there while it's in windowed mode and then change the full screen option and that should, you know, work, uh, work fine. Um, then there's, there's this, there's the custom maps. So the way this works is there's just a maps folder, custom maps folder. And you can drop um, maps in there, and it pulls the the name from the from the JSON file. Now you can just put in bare JSON files like these. These are just normal JSON files. If it can't find the name, it just uses the file name. It also mentions the file name, so that's nice. Um, what you can also do is you can make a zip file, and then put your JSON levels in there and put like an info.json in, in the zip file where you can set uh, the name for the archive and who created it. So yeah, if you if you select uh, a custom level, these are just random things that I put in there to test. You, you just get a map select screen and it's the same as the normal game, except you don't get uh, any stories in between. It even saves like, I've unlocked all of these levels, but if I never played this map pack before, um, these would these two would be locked. So I think that's interesting. And even if it's just a single level, it goes into the map select screen. It doesn't seem to remember the position in the map select screen when you go back. I might want to do something about that. It's, you know... Um, the game is currently in feature freeze. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Dang it. Can I? No. Hang on. I need to do a thing. Bear with me. I need to put a map from, from my normal folder into the, the maps folder. Yeah, it's just maps. It's not custom maps. Okay, so now I put a folder in there. Um, yeah. 
water test in .json. That's that's my level. So I'm gonna show you some of the new uh, mechanics. If you don't want to be spoiled on the new mechanics in the game, I suggest you turn them away. Turn off the video now. Just just leave. We don't want you here. No, I do want you here. But if you don't want to be spoiled, um, now's a good time. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um, there's no exit to tile yet, but whatever. So one thing people might remember is that there used to be... Is my cursor in the screen? I hope not. I think it might have been. That's fine. So in the top left, there used to be uh, a little diagram that shows you the order of hats. And um, that has been replaced by this, this note that Bia fills in as she goes along. Um, usually you would just have everything in, in that matrix so you can figure out which hat is strong against which. So the, the knockout stars are obviously a knockout punch. The little cloud means that they're gonna brawl forever. And uh, the glove is gonna be a knockback punch. So hopefully that'll make it easier to understand the relationships between the four hats. I hope so. Now another thing that the old version had, it had like a one frame delay between moving tiles as the player. And that has been removed. Although it's kind of locked at 30 FPS. It seems kind of jerky anyway. I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe I'm using an old version. Oh god, I hope I'm not using an old version. Because that would be really stupid of me. But yeah, that's been fixed. The movement speed has also been increased. I think I might be using an old version, everyone, because I am totally a professional game developer. Um, you might notice these these little streams here. Running water, also animated water all the way over here. Did I? No, I don't know. I don't know what's up with the movement speed. I'll have to investigate that. Maybe I rebroke it or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we've got running water now, and, you know, this animated water is just to look nice. Now you can see, this isn't rendering yet as if I'm in the water, but I am in the water, I, I assure you. It's just that this water is very shallow, so be it doesn't, you know, she can just stand in it and she doesn't get swept away. But the, the spluffs, they don't have feet, so sucks to be them. Now they won't walk into the water voluntarily, you have to punt them in. Um, actually, so this is a switch. If you get on it, it switches um, bridges. It, it depends on, on um, what the switch is linked to. They can be linked to one bridge or multiple. So this one is just linked to the one bridge. So if we, if we had this closed, then when this guy gets knocked into the water, he'll go all the way over here and then get pushed onto the bridge. So that's not what we want. So yeah, he got knocked into the water, he just gets swept away all the way downstream. And then he can't get out. So he knocks, once they stop, they do punch other people. And then he punches that guy out of the way, and then he gets to the last tile of the stream. And he's out of the stream. And that's basically it for new mechanics. Um, yeah, this will keep happening, I suppose. And that's basically uh, it for the new and improved version. Now, the main menu still says three floors, but that's going to be five in the full game. That's just because we haven't gotten there yet. Um, yeah, so that's the progress report. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.